Hello and OMG, welcome back to my channel where today we have a very expensive video. And the reason is I'm going to be reviewing these Christian Lou Baton red lipsticks that I had received as a gift. So if you wanna see what these really expensive lipsticks are all about, then go ahead and keep on watching. So if you guys don't already know, I don't like to spend a lot of money on products. And that is just because I have learned and as I've gotten older that you don't necessarily need to pay full price for everything. And I attribute a lot of that credit to my hubby. And the reason is he always buys things like on a budget, waits for things to go on sale. And before I was with him, I used to buy like whatever I want, whenever I wanted at full retail price. And then ever since being with him and then becoming a homeowner, you just learn how to like really budget your money and to look out for deals and things that go on sale. So I never purchase anything cosmetics at full retail price. I never really purchase anything that's super expensive anymore um, for cosmetics unless I feel like it's a need. And yeah, so I just wanted to get that out there because I'm not encouraging you guys to go out and buy really expensive lipsticks. I just wanna tell you guys like how I am as a person and then get into this review. So these are Christian Lou Baton lipsticks that I got from my hubby last year for Christmas and they come in the most beautiful gift set. You can find it at Nordstrom and I think it's so rude to like look up and know what somebody spent on you. But for the sake of this review, I had to look up how much these cost. And these are the hefty price of $270. And in the gift set, you obviously get this. It comes looking like a really like blinged out looking necklace and you get three red lipsticks. I pulled it up on the Nordstrom site so I could go ahead and read to you guys what it's all about. This is called the Rouge Louboutin Lip Color Collection. Again, it's $270 and it says details and care. So what it is, a collection comprised of Rouge or Rogue, I hope I'm saying it correctly, Louboutin Lip Colors in three finishes, Silky Satin, Velvet Matte, and Sheer Voile. Voile, however you say that. What it does, when Christian Louboutin was asked what women can wear his Rouge Louboutin Lip Color, he, said, he replied simply, yet definitively, every woman. After all, the iconic color was formulated to complement women of all skin tones and comes in three different finishes to suit any occasion. Not satisfied with just bringing Rouge Louboutin to lips, he created collectible packaging inspired by fine jewelry. The jewelry inspiration comes to life with a gunmetal chain to complement the silver, gold, and black finishes of each piece. The collection comes complete with Rouge Louboutin lip colors in every finish to best accentuate women's lips in whatever effect she desires. And sorry for the notification sounds. I always have my phone on loud ring just in case, you know, the fam calls, the hubby calls, you never know, life happens. So especially during this year, I think it's good to just always have your phone by you and be in contact if anything happens. Um, but anyway, so I keep my phone on loud ring for those reasons. So if you hear my notifications and everything going off, mind your business. I'm just kidding. It's just, it's good for me to have. Um, so anyways, yes. Yeah, so it seems like this is a pretty versatile little collection and I'm gonna go ahead and take it off and we will start to review it. I feel like this is like the most expensive video like I'm ever going to film on my channel. Um, and I haven't opened these since my hubby got them for me last year. And the reason is, I don't know if you guys are like me, but I just, I love like the aesthetic of certain things and I won't use them until I'm like, oh my God, okay, I need to use them or else it's gonna go bad. And just to give you guys some background on why I like Christian Louboutin. Now I'm someone who obviously is always on a budget and looking for the best deals, but a little backstory real quick before I get into the lip sticks. Um, when I was in college, I worked at a tanning salon and I had to always pay out of pocket tuition. And it got to a point where I had to work a job where I had to be able to afford my out of pocket tuition because I didn't qualify for like FAFSA or any of that stuff, it just didn't apply to me, which was super annoying at the time. So your girl had to hustle and bustle to make ends meet with the tuition part. Um, so anyways, when I was in college, I really learned how to work hard for my money and the value of money. And I've always loved the Christian Louboutin shoes. Like, I don't know if you guys can see in the corner, like right there is like a red bag. That is one of the dust bags for my shoes. I just have it on my door because it just looks super cute, the aesthetic. Behind me, you could see like Christian Louboutin bags. I just love the brand Christian Louboutin. 
And my goal was to be able to afford a pair of Christian Louboutin shoes because I told myself that when I graduate, I'm graduating in red bottoms. I'm graduating with honors and I'm graduating with red bottoms. And I'm not a materialistic person at all. I'm very humble. Um, but for me, I just love the story of the Christian Louboutin shoes, how they're handmade, how they're painted with the red, how they're supposed to like accentuate the woman. Like I just, I love them. The quality on them is absolutely amazing. I have not worn any other shoe that compares to a Christian Louboutin. And that is just, in my opinion, they're my favorite shoes. I have a ton of them now. I don't go out and they'll buy them like crazy. So I don't want you guys seeing I'm out here just buying Louboutins left and right. I'm not. So anyways, I had found the site, I think it was the Real Real or Vestai Air Collective, and I ended up getting my graduation Christian Louboutin shoes for only like $300, but they were brand spanking new. But at that time, $300 was a lot for me to pay for shoes, and these originally retail at like $700 to $1,000. And so walking in Christian Louboutin shoes on graduation day and graduating with honors and being the first one in my family to graduate, being the first woman in my family to graduate with a bachelor's degree was just, it was just a monumental moment for me. And I've been in love with Christian Louboutin shoes ever since then. So that is my love for it. You will see, you know, random, probably Christian Louboutin stuff all over my beauty room, but that is why I love this brand so, so much. It's just, the quality is amazing. I love red. My car is literally red bottom red. Um, and so I just, I love, I love it. I just absolutely love it. So enough chitty chatting. Oh my God. I feel like I'd be chatting too much with y'all, but let's go ahead and get on into this review because I know you guys are probably wondering what do these lipsticks look like and why is they so much money? And I'm thinking the exact same thing too. So I don't want to take them off the chain just because this is how my hubby gave them to me. So I kind of want to leave them as is, but I'm going to look for the glossy colors. I want to review that one first. Sorry for any background noise that comes with these clinking around. They're going to be clinking around. How funny am I? I'm reviewing expensive ass lipsticks and I got these little hair holders from the Dollar Tree. I swear I'll put you on. My mama and my sister found them in the aisle and I was like, girl, we have to get these. Like they're so cute. So these are from the Dollar Tree. If you're looking for something to hold your hair back. So this is the first one right here in the necklace and you could see how beautiful these look. Oh my God. They just look like icicles. They look like diamonds. You get the silver, you get the gold, and then you get the black finish. You open it up and it is just so, so flipping pretty. It literally says Louboutin on the lipstick right there. It just, I don't want to swatch it. I don't want to put it on because it is so pretty, but I have to. It does have a number on the back of here that says 001S9023TD. I don't know if that's like the SKU number, but this one looks like it's like that voile color, the one that starts with the V. It is more of like the shinier one. Now I only have basically like foundation and powder on my lips. I'm not gonna put on a lip liner because I really wanna see how these lipsticks perform um, without altering like the effects of my lips. So let's go ahead and try on the first one. Actually, this might be the satin lip color. Hold on, I kind I wanna get it right for you guys. So let me just open up the middle one just so I can see. Oh, it doesn't like tell you either. How annoying. Let's see. Let me look at the pictures. Oh, well. So let's just, you know, say this one is the voile one. I want to say it starts with the V. So I'm going to go ahead and put her on. Let's see. Why is it pink? What's going on here? Hold on, let me, let me take, let's redo this. Let me take off the foundation because I think it's getting on the lipstick. Probably not a good idea. Oh my God. And then I'm gonna see how like it kind of like changed the color, my foundation. So I'm just gonna take it on my hand, kind of like swap it off. So this is like a gloss. So I'm going to say this is like that voile color. Okay, we are going to try this again. Let's go ahead and tap it again. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. 
It's like a gloss, you guys. So, I'm like tripping out and I want to show you guys why. So, let me get a little bit closer. We keep it real on this channel. We don't be doing no fancy edits. We keep it super 100. So, you guys can see my lips. It looks kind of pinky. But then look at the lipstick here. It's like super shiny red. Literally looks like the bottom of my shoes. I love it. Um... So I'm gonna say this is the V Viole one. Now I would say this one would be good as like a lip topper. I think that if you're wearing like a very matte red lipstick and you put this on top, it would look good on its own. It, on camera, it looks delicious. It looks like a really cute like cherry red, but in person, it's more of like a non-pigmented red gloss. It's more on the pink side. So I'm a little thrown off with this one. Let me see if it smells like anything. It has just like the typical lipstick smell. It feels very, very lightweight. It's not sticky. Um, it feels very comfortable. I don't know if this would last all day because it is a, like a gloss. And it looks like it's kind of like drying down to almost like a lip stain. Maybe that's what the V-O-I-L-E word means. It's like maybe like a lip stain. But as I'm looking in my mirror and in the camera, it is drying down. I wouldn't say this is good to wear with a mask because it's probably going to transfer. Um, but I want to keep my thoughts and opinions. Uh, I don't know just yet. What do you guys think of it? Comment down below. Would you wear this? Is it red enough for you? Would you think this is like a Christian Louboutin lipstick? But we will keep our thoughts and opinions on hold for this one. So the next one I want to try, I want to say is the satin one. And let me go ahead and show you her because her finish is a little bit different than the first one. As you guys can see, the silver on here, it has like more of like a mermaid type of finish. And of course it has the gold and the shiny black. The first one had more of the ridges as you can see on the lipstick. This one has a very sleek look to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take her out. And then of course you get the beautiful Lou Baton. Come on camera, focus. You get the beautiful Lou Baton lettering, the gold and everything. And then this one doesn't have like the SKU number on here, it says it down here, it says 001, and then underneath it, 9077T, as in Tom, K as in K. Um, but yeah, so, okay, let's take this one off. Let's just do it. And then we'll try on the second one. And I'm using my makeup wipes from Marshalls. See, girls on a budget. Okay. I'm trying to be very careful. Because if you're trying on red lipsticks, it can get messy. Because basically the lipsticks can like move upwards on your foundation and then it's game over. Because then basically if you put like foundation over red lipstick, you get like a red cast and then it just looks super tacky. So I'm trying to be very, very careful. Let's go ahead, let the lips dry. And then let's try on this second one. Hopefully she goes on better because I was thrown off with the first one, but let's see. I want to make sure you guys can see. Okay, there's that red. There we go. That is really pretty. Okay, I'm not gonna put this one on like too perfect because I don't wanna like over draw and then have to like fix it later. Let me just try and fix that. But I feel like this gives you guys at least 
like a very rough like sketch look of it what do you guys think of this second one i want to say this one is definitely the satin one it feels like a satin finish do you all think i think this one is definitely that red bottom red like legit looks like the color of the back of the shoes now it doesn't have a scent to this one either yeah it just smells like lipstick and then it feels very lightweight on the lips it doesn't feel drying at all feels like i'm kind of like not wearing anything in a way i wouldn't recommend this one with a mask either just because it will transfer because it does have like a slight like glossy shine to it but it's so beautiful oh my excuse me oh my god i love it it's really really pretty I did a holiday reds video on like my go-tos, but I might have to incorporate this one into there because this is such a beautiful like candy cane typical holiday red. I love it. She's stunning. She's gorgeous. We have one more to try on. Let's go ahead and do it. I feel bad having to take this one off. Let's go ahead and just take her off. Trying to use like different areas of my makeup wipe. Now this one I'm gonna put on as perfectly as I can because I plan on wearing this one for the rest of the day. Right away, be careful, be careful. I'm trying to use like sides that has like no red lipstick on it. Okay. So the lips are looking a little bit stained. So if you do wear these lipsticks or if you do go out and buy them, they might be stained. So let's get to the last one, which is the matte one. And I like how kind of the lipsticks maybe kind of tell which one it is. This one I think is the voile one. This one is obviously the satin one. And then this one's matte. So the lipstick on here is a matte finish. It has a beautiful like mermaid-like silver finish to it as well with the gold around it. Take it out, no smell as well. It has the beautiful Christian Louboutin writing on it. Come on, camera focus, there we go. And then this one you could tell is matte. It looks really, really pretty. Like she mad girl, she has no shine. So let's see what she looks like. Let's go ahead and put her on. Let's be careful. Oh yeah, totally matte. All right, I'm sorry guys, that one took me a little bit longer to put on because I was trying to make it, sorry, allergies. Oh, I was trying to make it as perfect as possible, but this is what the matte one looks like. So she's a little bit of a darker red, still that beautiful looking like red bottom red, very lightweight and it doesn't feel drying. This feels more like a satin finish, but it's not. Even if you were to wear a mask, this one would transfer because it's not a super matte. It's on the matte side, but it's not drying down like super matte at all. It's very comfortable. It's not getting on my teeth. So, so far, none of these red lipsticks transferred onto my teeth, which is a good thing. So let me just take these little clips out of my hair. I'll give you my thoughts and opinions followed by my verdict. All right, so I took down my hair and the only thing that sucks about those clips is that sometimes it can put like dents in your hair. Like I have these little dents, but it is what it is. So I feel like super bougie and fancy right now, but my final thoughts and opinions on these Christian Louboutin lipsticks for $270, you get three of them in total as like a set. 
I think obviously these lipsticks are very expensive. I do think though that this is a nice gift to gift somebody. And these lipsticks are very near and dear to my heart because obviously they were given to me by my hubby. So I will cherish these forever. I freaked out when he got them for me because I was like, oh my God, I didn't even know Christian Louboutin made lipsticks, made eyeliner, even had cosmetics like in general. So. I just, these lipsticks mean a lot to me. I love honestly how the last two performed. I didn't really like how the first one performed. I feel like the first one I would have to use as a topper and I wouldn't wear it by itself. Now, would I recommend you guys to go out and purchase very expensive lipsticks? No. But if you are someone who is in a financial position to be able to afford lipsticks like these and you can, by all means, girl, go on with your bad self. Now, my verdict for these lipsticks is though guilty of being worthy of your dollars. And the reason is, again, I think that this is a nice gift to gift somebody. I don't think that it's something that you should be purchasing like on a daily or even when maybe you run out purchasing the set as a whole. I know that they do sell them individually for either 70 or 90 bucks. I, I don't know if I got that information correct, but I do think that it is a very nice and beautiful thing to gift somebody for the holiday. So anyways, I hope that you all like this video. I know it was kind of quick, but I wanted to just review these lipsticks here with you guys on my channel because I literally haven't opened them and we're already almost at a year of me having them because I was given them last Christmas from my hubby. So anyways, please give this video a big thumbs up if you made it this far. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that bell so you do get notified of every time that I do upload a video. I say this in every single one of my uploads, but please, if you do have to go outside, wear your mask and always spread peace love and happiness. I will see you all in my next video.